Hello, my name is Fahad Benjouani, and my project is to measure the emotional state of a city. I have two personal goals for this project, the first one being to mine Twitter using Python and JavaScript, and the second being able to use machine learning algorithms. The final output of my project looks either city by city, where we're looking at how cities are doing. So how does the city of Boston, Chicago, or New York City are doing on a certain day, or to do a temporal analysis where we're looking at how a city, how city of Boston, for example, is doing across multiple dates. There are four key steps, four key steps that I need to achieve this objective. The first one being collecting data from Twitter, then cleaning up that data, running machine learning algorithms on that data, and finally visualizing the data in Tableau. So far, I've been able to figure out Tweepy a little bit, being able to um, being able to get a live stream of tweets and storing them. I've been able to understand the structure um, of a tweet as in a Twitter, as provided by the Twitter API. I haven't been able to figure out how to get a geotagged data along with filtered filtering for a specific hashtag within a specific date range. I've been able to figure out how to get tweets from a date range, how to get tweets with a specific hashtag, how to get tweets from a specific geocode, but not all three. And the problem that I'm running into now is that when I try to do all three, it's the same tweet over and over and over again. The risks that I see for my project are machine learning, as I don't have much exposure to it. Python and JavaScript familiarity, which was initially a medium risk, but now it's turned to high, given the hiccups that I'm running into. And finally, Tableau visualization, which is a low risk, given my familiarity with the software. What's next? Getting that code. Figuring out how to get the code to get the data that I need geotagged, with specific hashtags within a date range. Once I get this data, I will clean it up and then train it using Google Sentiment Analysis. Thank you.